So this is going to be a very quick rundown of the equipment that I use. So here you'll see that I have the Pioneer XDJXE. It's a four channel standalone unit. And so what standalone means is that you don't need to use it in conjunction with a laptop in order to use it. So I have here a hard drive. It has about 4,000 tracks on it. And to the right of the unit, um, you have USB 1 and USB 2, um, which corresponds with your selection inputs here. So USB 1 and USB 2. So you would just simply select USB 1, scroll through, try and find the track that you want, and then load it up to deck 1 or deck 2. Um, now in standalone, it only works on the two channels, just channels 1 and 2, uh, channels 3 and 4 here um, have their own inputs here. Um, so you can have line or phono. So you, you, what you can do is you can actually add a couple of CDJs onto this or vinyl turntables onto this. There is connections in the back in order to do that. And then it would work on the four channels. Um, it is like the CDJ2000 Nexus 2 system. It has the full size jog wheel. It has the play and cue where you'd expect to find it. Track search, loop in, everything you would expect to find. And then the mixer section is like the 900 Nexus 2 system. So it has the six color effects and the color parameter knobs to assign it to that channel. And it also has the beat effect section. You activate the effect using the blue button. It'll start to flash indicating that the effect is live. And you can then turn it off. Or in addition to that, you can also activate the effect using the X-pad, um, which is a touch screen. You just simply touch it, the blue light will start to flash indicating that the effect is live. Take it off and you're good to go. Um, the other way of using it in four channel configuration is if you are using it with a laptop. So you can configure the four channels on your laptop and you can actually use it on four channels using your laptop. So the other equipment that I have is I have the Pioneer speakers. So these are the DM50Ds. The reason I selected them is they're slightly bigger than the 40Ds. I also have the ADJ Mega Hex Power. Um, I have four of these, one here, one on the other shelf, and then two in the lighting podiums at the bottom. So at the bottom of this, there is a light that faces up and it shines through this. This is just lycra. So it's just stretchy material and the light picks it up really well. On top of the lighting podium, I have the Equinox Fusion Orbit 2 moving heads. And then I also have the Laser World um, EL400 RGB laser. Um, and I have the Equinox Vapor Smoke Machine. So the reason that I have started using the laptop is because I have got this. Um, so this is the Pioneer DJ um, RB DMX1. So what this does is it allows you to add um, lighting shows to your setup. Um, so when you're playing along through a laptop, what you can actually do is you can actually go into the lighting section, drag the song up, and then you can literally program each one of your lights to do exactly what you want at that part of the song. So what I'll do is I'll just turn the lights off and I'll give you an example of that as well. So just ignore that noise, that's my dog snoring. There he is there. So when I come over, um, the very moment I press play, you will see that the lighting starts. So if I skip through the track, the lighting will also skip along with it. And what you'll find is that the lights is perfectly in sync with the music. So the beat is about to drop and you should see that the lights will start to strobe.
So I think that with this wee box here, it just creates, um, it's a, a creative element to um, your shows. So rather than just having the music, you can also go onto your laptop and at the top here, you'll see it says performance. So you just simply change it from performance to lighting. It does take a few seconds to load up. And when it loads up, what you can do is you can uh, drag a song in. So you can just simply go to browse here, get um, a song, drag it, drag a song up, and then go back into your scenes here. And you'll see here, the bottom line indicates the color the light is gonna be. So you'll see here, it changes from red to blue. And then the white line above it indicates whether the light is on or off. So if it's at the bottom here, it's off. If it's at the top, it's on. Um, so these are just power lights. So they only have color and strobe and then obviously on or off. Um, but if I collapse those lights down, because they are my power lights, they only have one function, but on my moving heads, you'll see that it says uh, strobe pattern rotate and gobo. Again, the line at the bottom indicates the color. The um, white line indicates whether it's on or off, but what you can also do is you can create patterns. So you can go into pattern, highlight the section of the song where you want the pattern to be, and then right click and well, I've selected rotate there, but you can go into rotate and, you know, you can do all these changes to it. Or if you choose strobe here at the top, just simply highlight the selection you want to strobe, right click and it'll say strobe. It'll then give you a, a, it'll give you a slider there so you can simply select that to determine how fast you want it to strobe. So I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to make any changes to it. But you can go in and you can get really, really creative with your lighting that is perfectly synced to your music. Um, and I think it just creates that really, really cool effect to your music. So it's not just you playing, it's a very creative element to, uh, to your set.